Did you make New Year's goals? Not yet. We need to do it. What's going on? Here? We need to go. We did goals. I said, I said, let's hash out our goals here in front of everybody. Why not, Aaron? We could. We could. Um, yeah. I think I want to have five babies. Oh, my God. This is the Aaron Cordovez Show. All right. Welcome to the Whitney Cordovez Show featuring Aaron sometimes. Aaron and Whitney Cordovez Show. Nice. Okay, so um, do you know what this is, Whitney? Right here, I'm right here. No. This paper is, in fact, the largest wire transfer we have ever done in the history of our lives. Oh my goodness! Wow. Did you know this? No, I didn't. Let me show it to you. Here you go. That's that's intense. Ju- 3.4 million dollars hi 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 <laughs> okay so um this is a way to start the year is it good you think i think it's a great way to start the year investing creating your futures yes so you always have to invest in business and reinvest so that you can continue to grow yes and unless you don't want to grow but that's that's one's choice exactly yeah exactly I mean, some people, some people say that they don't care about uh, money. It's fine. I, you know, I did a post uh, a few weeks ago. I didn't tell you about it, but I, I wrote like, I thought someone else saw I someone else, someone else put it on their feed, and mm-hmm. they said, "How much money do you need to be rich?" And I wrote to them and I said, "You need you need to be at least at least be worth a hundred million dollars to be like rich, like really rich, like you're rich. Not of course you're rich. If you have a million dollars, you're also rich. But like, for me, being rich means." You can make the effect that you want to affect because your production is so in, what you're doing is so big that you can actually change the world in some direction. Right. And when you have taxes, like things being signed off to create war for $500 billion, putting $500,000 somewhere is not like going to like... It's not really going to make a big dent. No. You have yeah. $500 billion. I know. Being changed in a single second. Yeah. So for me, rich, just like people say, like uh, half the people are saying, oh, rich is just being able to be with their family or rich is just being able to, you know, you can eat today. Or But everybody has is- their own understanding and their own uh, view of life and That's view true. of what rich would mean for them, That's you know? True. So you have a, a more of a broader scale of rich, what rich means because you've decided to like look at the overall life situations that we have in this world and it's up to oneself to decide to look or not look or to decide to take responsibility or not take responsibility nobody could ever enforce that That's true. so it's on the person's own what they want to what they want to handle and in fact just so you know like to be perfectly honest we weren't just we weren't just automatically thinking about the entire world and what we want to do and how we how we want to help when, um, when when we when when I got this job mm-hmm. for a hundred thousand, yes, I thought I was pretty rich. Yeah, we did. I was like, that's this what is I'm rich. saying. We I, have to like I, take I, it back I'm, a step here, 100%. you know, and rea- and and like the, what we're actually dealing with. Like we were in that position before, where I thought a million dollars was like, what the heck? I can retire, <laughs> never work again. Did you think you were gonna retire? No, not really. No, because I knew okay. that I wanted to donate a million dollars. So of okay. course I would have to keep working. I was just saying, I was being funny. You didn't, oh, but you but you weren't thinking about retiring. No way. Okay, I didn't think so, because no I'm way. like, maybe we weren't on the same page. Definitely not. I definitely don't ever want to retire. I, I don't feel like retiring. If you're retiring, is so boring. For sure. Like you're done. There's always There's always games to be had. Yeah. There's always more to create. Good. Um, but back then, our 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 goals and our and our immediate future of what we were creating was just to put our daughter into a private school. That was that's it. That's true. That was that was it. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks more a month. That would be like. That's all that we were looking for. That's a good goal. We weren't looking for making a million dollars. No. That's true. Do you so, know how much we sold in December? <laughs> no. Do you want to know? Sure. Just in July, we just got a report. December was twelve million dollars in sales. Beautiful. That's that's pretty good. That's just Amazon, or is that just, everything? No, that's everything. Amazon was about ten. Okay. 
So again, I mean, so marketplaces and everything else was about two. Yeah. Okay. Which great. This I I, I, didn't, I can't wait to see what the actual margins are. On I know. That. I know. We're always we're always checking out, but you know, sales sales is sales is easy to figure out. So, um, I like to be around people where I look at, I guess, the business, and I go like, we're so tiny. Yeah. For course. some reason. Of course. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, I don't know, Mike Beckham or Jabron Niaz or like whatever. These guys, or the Hex Cloud guy, whoever. That's why the podcast. That's why that podcast that, you know, what is it called again? Which one? The one with the three or four or five The Operator's guys. Podcast? Yeah, yes. that's a good one. I like it. I listen to it. Yeah. It's a good one. I've only listened to a few episodes. Yeah. They're crazy. I know. Jeremy doing whatever, 200 blah. Oh my gosh. Ages. Amazing. And so... This year, Whitney. Yes. Do you know I just got a quote today from redoing our website? Mm-hmm. How much do you think like some of these guys spend on their website? A hundred grand. Yeah. Yeah. At least. I know. How much you think? How much you think we'll spend? A hundred grand. The quote is one hundred and fifty. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We did. We did a site that was a thousand dollars. You're so funny. You like to drop that on me in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So, <laughs> on this... I would like to know all the information. Of course. So Who, who, I, who are these? Who is, what is this company? What's their track record? Yeah. Who's actually used them? What's the, the st- success rate? And I want to actually speak to those customers. Absolutely. Before you we do have. any of that. You already have. You just didn't even know it. Okay. So this is a recommendation. Uh, it's a, it's an agency called Van. Okay. V A A N. It sounds Dutch, but the guy was uh, Belize or anyway. So um, this is a company, and for for the the reason I'm talking about this is because for this year mm-hmm. we need to crack the website. In yeah. in my eyes, like our website and throwing traffic and that whole thing. Mm-hmm. I believe if we do that, we could double our company just just with the website. Okay. Like because it also gives us an ability to market people offside of Amazon. But I have to tell you what going. I believe. Yeah, I, I believe our products are pretty cheap. And from well, what Well, not I, all of them. What about that one right there? Okay, you're right. There's like probably about maybe seven products that we sell, that, but are they're not not all of them are hero products. I would say out of those seven, maybe two of them are, are the top sellers. Yeah. Um, and what I'm trying to say is that Every time we've invested in the website, it has not done very well. Do you know and why? I believe it's because of ads. Like, in order to do well on on the website, you need to be able to do very well with ads and driving traffic to your website. That's part and of if, it. And if you don't, if you don't actually have a product that the person will buy, that's a has a high enough profit margin, <laughs> then it's not going to ever make sense. Yeah. So here's here's the way I look at it. So this is why I'm very hesitant on investing money in this website because our margins are not that high. Uh, well, here's and that's not that's not that's not false. So, but I will say, Kitsch they sell like a hair tie for like eight bucks. And the cost, the customer acquisition cost, is pretty high. For who? In our in our industry. Well, no, in our industry, no. For for on the website. You mean for our company? Yes. Or for our company because our website is so garbage. Oh, is that why? Uh, yes. I mean, I believe so. So here's the thing. Our first website I made. Yes. That was probably about a value-wise, maybe like 500 bucks, $1,000 website. Okay. Right. Um, then we had someone else. Uh, we heard in the Philippines, which they're fine. And then they redid their site. And apparently that was good. Mm-hmm. And that was okay. A, a monthly salary, which whatever it was. It's un- under $1,000 per month. And the site was done in two or three months or something. Cool. Then, you know what the next website was? It was with this guy, Josh. Yeah, so we had an, an agency guy and he recommended a person. But this is an agency recommending, not a brand recommending. Mm-hmm. And then we did that site. That was like 10 grand. Yep. 12 grand, something like that. And that did an improvement. And we actually got to like break even on ads. But then we also have returns and the stuff. And I don't know if it was fully break even, but it, we had a, an improvement. Now, what if I told you that the guy doing our site is the same guy that did the Hexcloud website, the same guy that did the Simple Modern website, the same guy that did like a bunch of these massive websites, they all had massive lifts and like huge change. 
I would have so much more certainty that it would be successful. But also, yeah. I do have yeah. to say, yeah. look at Hexclad. Look at Simple Modern. No problem. What other company was it that they... There's a bunch of other ones, but I don't know. They do like also Land's End. Okay. Well, like, I want to actually look at those companies because and see how many products do they have at a higher price point because they're making they're they have better margins the majority of our products are actually little tiny things like uh a garlic press a frother yes but there's also a uh, garlic rocker so that's bundling. what i'm saying like in order for us to actually do it we would have to create bundles but you know that's what they do okay great that's what they they they, and they make the experience selling the seamless. item an airbnb package okay i love it Airbnb package. Okay, Aaron, you got good. your special. Okay. I would be totally on board if we actually have a catalog of items that are offered on the site that would make it make sense. 100%. The way it is right now makes no sense. Well, and we've but, tried it already. So our website right now is a $10,000 website. Right. It, I know. I got it. I understand. That's 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 about a third of what we'll spend. Like some days we spend ads like $30,000. Right. The entire website is not even one third of that. I know. Our website is it, it's so... it's Anyway, but... At this point, people ask too, like, should they have a website when they start Amazon? I'm like, no, you don't need a website. You don't even need an Amazon storefront. All you need is a page. Like, it's not... But now where we're at, I do think that that store is going to be a place where we can make it to reduce the ad cost to very, spend money. I think it would be a great a, a huge, great idea. Huge. But so I, that's the guy anyway. That's okay. the guy. Beautiful. Who did the Simple Honor website, the Hexcon website. Did he website. reach out to you or what no, happened? here's what happened. So Brian Porter is... Uh, he is the chief some officer chief marketing officer maybe mm -hmm. for simple modern mm -hmm. and he actually did a post of like what is his like tech stack like what he does on the site wh what they use mm -hmm. and they use this guy and they have a rave recommendation they love him they did all the stuff and like him and the team and everything and i go let's give it a shot so i had to call the guy today okay and um i think it'll be good for the new year to get something going. it takes literally four to six months to get the site up all right research phase in this and they have like they get people and recruit them to do like this and say, okay, if, if you wanted to pick the right color, how is the experience? Blah, blah, blah. And they test like what our site is now, which is obviously going to be garbage. And then what would be like the benchmarks they want to get to that someone feels they have the good experience. They found the product they wanted. They wanted the color they wanted. They all the, that whole experience is like perfect. And they're anyway, I think it's a good expansion strategy. For sure. I agree. Yeah. And it's about the people, right? Because. If you don't have the right people. You're so funny that you wanted to bring this up in the middle of a podcast. I mean, why not? We have we have a topic to talk about. Do you have any topics you want to talk about? <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah. That's good. I, I think it's fantastic. And then, and then buying companies. I think buying companies is, is Oh, it's is, amazing. I'm so massive. excited about this. To People who buy companies right now, when there's so few buyers, the interest rates are so high, are going to see a massive lift, I, mean, I believe. They will see a massive lift generally because the market is undervalued right now. The right. market is so undervalued because people can't buy. And who's going to buy when some of these big guys are going bankrupt, they're not doing well, like people are not buying. So the people that can buy, I think are going to do extremely well. I agree with that. Yeah. That's why I'm on board. Hell yeah. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> so <clears throat> what do you think about the year? And what's the most important thing for a person to, to do like what do you what do you what are you doing this year? Your focus this year for you to have the best year of your life. That is a very interesting question. Why don't you ask answer that for yourself first? Well, you have to ask me for that first. Okay, so what is the most important thing that you could do this year that's going to give you the most happiness? That wasn't my question. Okay, well that's my question. Okay, <clears throat> the most happiness. I I for me I think happiness comes when you want to do something for a long time and you finally do it like and you push good enough and hard enough or whatever like go at it in whatever angle hard not easy easy wh whatever way but you keep going at it then you finally get that big thing that you really wanted and i think that is how to achieve happiness that's right i agree with that so i think for me this year the most important thing is going to be finish up my course release it and sell it and get people and change their lives to be from like where I was and get them through the same changes that I had personally. Right. To go from cannot support a family, cannot ha like afraid to have a child to saying, no, I can have a child. I can actually have multiple children and I can actually grow and provide for more than like for me, my immediate family, extended family and for like providing jobs, providing opportunity for other people. And I want to bring people up through that. So for me, like doing that course and getting people through that is going to be a massive thing, I think, for me. Okay. And learning that like marketing to people like, hey, you can do this. 
and 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 something that's not crazy like a monthly cost it's like doable where it can be massive just to change people's lives i want to do that and then second one or two books okay I, that was my that was my thing last year and the year before and i never did it so i have i have my kids book you know the miss marine that i yes. want to do yes and then i have um the amazon book because like the course comes out but let's say you can't do the course or let's say you don't have internet or not you don't have internet but like maybe i don't know let's say someone who doesn't have access to internet so frequently yes they may want to study the book offline and then maybe go to a cyber cafe and do it. it's not everyone has access to internet like we it's have right true. here it's true so it's like be able to reach people that get the dream and the idea and can focus and study the book get the concepts get the thing and then be able to go and then focus on a few things when they have internet so i want to have the book version i want to have the course and have our own people where they come and they come in and they know exactly what they have to study what like the the, the training materials for them when they come in and they know exactly what they're responsible for they're familiar with um i don't know the law of their area um they're familiar with uh, the guidelines of the area they're familiar with like just fundamentals of marketing whatever it is that they need to do and they, if i can come in because it's already happened many times when people come in they come inside and inside they learn from us but a lot of times it's from a person Right. And then they come out and they become so skillful and then they can move up and they do bigger and better things and they do better things with us or big, like whatever. We have a lot of partnerships we've done. And so I want to do that at a bigger scale. And I think that's going to start with the book. Well, the, the kids book, I just so I think that I think those so. are great, great goals. Yes. And I love them. And I think that I can help you with them. And the first step is figuring out what's the estimation of effort a lot. required well, to make each of those things happen. Yeah. And then actually working that out sure. and then investing the time. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So what about you? What are the things for you for this year? What to, was your question? I my forgot. question is, I forgot my question too. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I will say, what are you going to focus on this year to make 2024 be the best year of your entire life? Well, that's a very good question. I would say that um, there's something that I've embarked on personally to help me be a better version of myself. And it's a gorgeous journey that I have started spiritually. And I'm planning to invest probably like two to three hours of my life every single day um, to help me be a better version of myself. So then I can actually uh, work on and accomplish my goals and my purposes that much more clearly and that much more finitely and without any other deviations or distractions because I'll myself be doing better personally. So um, I'm not even that I'm doing bad or anything like that, but I believe there's no absolutes and nobody is perfect <laughs> and there's always room for improvement. So I can definitely improve. And I am very excited about improving myself and um, and the result that will happen as from doing that, because I I want to be able to be so incredibly effective that I decide X is going to happen and then X happens because my intention is so strong that X is going to happen and I push through anything until X happens. Like, for instance, Aaron wants this book done. There's obviously, he's wanted this done for two years. He's told me about it. This is a goal he's wanted, right? He's mentioned it to me many times in our lives. And of course, I would love to help him do that. But for one reason or another, there's different barriers that occur that stop that from happening. So if I can be a better version of myself and improve myself, then I can also help my husband do whatever his goals are at a more uh, direct and a faster rate. And the way that we've operated and produced mostly in regards to in our life and also business and um, relationship wise is we are supporting each other in everything that we do. True. And most everything. <laughs> OK. Yes, mostly everything. Um, and so basically I would be helping him with his goals and he helps me with my goals and purposes. And even this business, this business wouldn't be here right now if he didn't start that course nine years ago, basically. Luna's almost ago. nine. She'll yeah. be nine in two weeks. So nine so. years ago. And, um, so it's just, it's just, um, that's what I'm going to be. That's what I'm very excited about. And for this year. Amazing. And I don't even, I don't know if that answers your yeah, question. That's, that's perfect. Okay. Now, 
I just realized we started Amazon right after Luna was born. That's so right. that's an easy way to know how long we've been selling. Yes. <laughs> yes. Luna's age. That's really cute. Yeah. So. Well, I very much remember it. Of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> I birthed her. Of course. You've delivered her into this world. That's right. So, um, do you know? Do you know what happened when I sent this fire today? Uh, did Chase call you and ask you if you were of 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 clear mind? Yes. And that if yes. you if you were possessed? Yes. If, are you yes. are you under some serious stress? Yeah. That yeah. that would motivate you to send that money? Yeah, yeah, of course they would because Chase wants to keep the money. Yeah. They want to invest the money so that they can make more money. Yeah. And if well, you they take also, a- there are also so many scams. Of course. I talked to the banker today. There was a there was a lady who came in yeah. and said she's been been called over and over by the IRS to send a payment that the IRS needs. Yes. And the bank is like, the IRS does not call you for wires. Don't send the money. And the banker, the lady at the Chase Bank, literally said, like, do not send that money. And she's like, you know what? And 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 three people came out and talked to her and said, like, do not send that money. It is not the IRS. There is not a bill that you need to pay. And they're like, oh but they and, and so she left. Then she came back like three days later. No, it really is. It's really them. Like, absolutely. I need to send this out. And they're like, no. And then it's like, I will not send this wire to you. They went to another branch. <clears throat> the lady's trying to send out this money. <clears throat> she went to another branch. The branch called the first branch and is like, hey, what's up? And they said, do not send it. It's fraud. And the guys are like, yeah, but we, it's her money. It's not our money. Oh, wow. So we'll have to send it out if she, she keeps insisting. So they send out the wire. $900,000. Oh, no. $900,000 this poor lady is sending to the IRS who's incessantly calling her and saying she needs to pay this bill. And it even says it here on, on the wire thing. Like, it literally says here, um, s- here are some trending scams to watch Watch out for. Someone claiming to represent law enforcement, the IRS, Social Security, Medicare, or immigration services. They pretend they're one of those people, and then they ask for a wire. Ask for a wire. IRS, nobody, call, nobody's guys calls you for a wire. Hmm. They do not call you. They send letters. They send this, and it's very official. Anyway, so then, sure enough, the lady comes back seven days later, and it's like, hey, I need my money back. Because it was the wrong place and she confirmed it somehow. And they're like, sorry, we told you. Like, it's too bad. Your money's gone. But it, it's their money. So this kind of stuff happens. Okay. Jeez. And and right there, right here, there's a little local, little clear water. $900,000 the lady's sending out. So, yes, they asked me, like, how do you know the business person? How do you know this? How, they asked me a bunch of questions. But then they asked me this. You know what's very interesting? What? They said, this is because literally Chase knows how much of a scam right now these Amazon automation services are. I said, we're buying this company. And the guy goes, oh, would you mind letting me know, do you know what products the company sells? And I go, yes, of course, it's this and this and this. And he goes, oh, okay. But why is he asking that question? Because I will tell you, most, there, there's the people who ask for, you, you've not heard of this, they ask for like a lump sum, 40 grand, $50,000, and they say, I will set up your Amazon for you. Just give me 50 grand. I'll set it up for you. You're not seen this before? Mm-mm. Okay. I mean, I, I, I saw it with, uh, I think Titan was offering a service. No, no, but, no, not that. But I didn't think that was a bad thing. No, no, that's not, a, that's another thing. That's like a done for you and that's like a monthly yeah. and they set up the brand. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. I'm talking about there's people who literally like Amazon automation services.com or some, I don't know what the exact website is, but they go and they said, hey, we're going to do everything for you. You have it going and you're going to make X amount of money in this amount of months, this, 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 blah, blah, blah. You pay them a big chunk of money and they do it all hidden. You don't know the people. Yeah. You don't know who's doing it. And you're supposed to have a store that makes you all this cash. Okay. And they go, all we need is a one-time $50,000 payment and we're good. We got you. Oh, wow. So you send the $50,000 and you don't even know what you're selling. And then it's, sometimes it's reselling. Sometimes it's private. I don't even know exactly how it works, but I know that a friend of mine called is like, hey, this person had a present, and they sent me the presentation. And the presentation is like, literally none of it, it says we have this amazing opportunity, this great supplier, this great thing, mm-hmm. and never does it tell you what it, what product you're selling. Wow. You literally do not even know what product you're selling. So That's you put, put $50,000 in, and it's like, hey, what what are we selling? So oh, sorry, I can't tell you. Just I can't don't tell get you that. scammed by this, okay? <laughs> That's the, if you're going to invest in something, and you cannot be told what product you are selling, that might be a, a a sign that it is a total scam and do not wire your money. So we, you know, we again, we have a fund only for accredited investors. And you know what brand you're investing into? You know the products. You know the stuff. And it's like here is the company, not like hey, send us money. We're gonna 
buy some mystery product. And you know what they say? Mm. This company, they say, we don't, uh, the automation guys, we know that if you, if we gave you the name of the product that we're selling, yeah, then you'd be able to do it on your own and you would lose the value and there'd be too much competition. That's bullshit. So it's hidden and the purpose, the reason it was hidden is because if someone found out about it and they took it over, then you'd lose your margin. How 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 solid, how rock solid is that company, okay, guys? Well, anyways. Okay, got it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. It was so interesting. He said, like, do, do you know, do you know what products say. Uh, this company's selling? You know, as of like, of course, some people are like, no, I don't know what products they're selling, actually. They said they're doing it all for me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. And you know, someone someone was wrote, wrote to me as well on Instagram saying like, hey, I want to work for you. I work for a lot of Amazon people before, softwares. And I'm like, okay, so what before? And he's like, an autom- Amazon automation company. And I go like, are you kidding me? I'm not going to hire you, man. You're, you're, you're selling a criminal, like literally a criminal, disgusting, horrible service. And he says, hold on, let me see what he said. He said, uh, I hear a lot of people say this, but it was a well-established business. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're, you're literally defrauding people. <laughs> the guy goes, it's a very well-established business. <laughs> That's pretty rough. <laughs> That's his response. <laughs> Well, he has to live with himself, Aaron. So the guy has to somehow make it okay. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to live with himself. I know, it's pretty sad. That's the way that works. Even criminals, in some cases, don't think they're criminals. If they did, they would stop. Yeah. Yeah, you one would hope, right? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's uh, good, starting up 2024. And um, what do you... Do you think, did you make New Year's goals? Not yet. We need to do it. What's going on? Here? We need to go. We did goals. I said, I said, let's ago. hash out our goals here in front of everybody. Why not, Aaron? We could. We could. Um, yeah. I think I want to have five babies. Oh my gosh. We need two more. Okay. I thought you know we need to, we need to, we need to just we need to have more than three. Three is like a, like a bit average. Okay. <laughs> when you when you when you have four, I think you're in the high like a lot of children. Yes. But I know people with four children. I don't know a single person that I'm like friendly with can talk to in this that have five children. So I feel like to be an overachiever, Whitney. Like I like I like overachievement, and I think in having a huge, massive, amazing, beautiful family. Mm-hmm. They're all going to be wonderful kids. And then we also have a lot of chances of making sure, like, you know, it's so, so funny because uh, I forgot some parent was telling me this and I, and I think it was funny, but there was um, a, a family and they had one child, right? Yes. And the child turned out well, like, I guess a, a good, like, moral, productive, contributing citizen, member of society, et cetera. And they said, like, we're such good parents, right? And this other parent, and they had like four children and they go, you have no idea if you were a good parent. That kid could have just been an angel. You were trying to just, you just didn't mess it up too hard. <laughs> but if you got five kids, yeah. if you got five kids and they're all good, like, damn, that means you're a good parent. That means like you are a good parent, right? If you have two, it could just be a roll of dice, you know, cause they could have been good without you. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. So, so you want to prove something to yourself? I, 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 I want, are, are, we, are we a good, that's one of the reasons because oh are we good parents? We, we have to, we have to. See, like, can we raise children? You know. Let's see, Aaron. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got time. I'm already forty. You know, so there's so you're so, not. I'm not forty, but I don't have to birth a child either. So, but but here's here's the thing. That's the point. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> so. <laughs> so here's the thing. That's why yeah, it matters. I, I saw yesterday this lady. Her name is Chia. Uh, Chia Mosley. Yes. She just started a whole Instagram about having a baby because uh-huh. she had a baby at 47. Yeah, she was in perfect shape too. So maybe there's, there was their goals. Yeah. We get in perfect shape, have the baby, do the thing. and So he's open. What? So you open. I don't know, Aaron. Okay, let's see. First, we got to do the fourth. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do the fifth, right? So after right. the fourth, you're okay on the fourth. I mean, of course. Okay, good. So we've been working on the fourth. And so... And then after that, we'll see. See on the fifth. We got time. Mm -hmm. And then do you have any other comments for the year, for goals, for anything like that? 
Well, I'm very excited about this year in regards to uh, the company and the success. Um, we just recently changed our whole strategy of how we um, do new products and give love and care to our existing products. And hopefully, I'm hoping I'm hoping that that's going to create a huge change in our company, specifically in in just like a minor little change that we did. I think a major change in regards to packaging. Oh, that one. Okay, made a big difference. Um, so when you have a company that's this large, when you make these little changes on even the size of packages, it makes it it does make a big difference. That's so right now true. we're becoming more uh, focused on efficiency and also giving love to our existing products. And this is something I've been like preaching for for like four years. True. And like when he was obsessive about you know doing one product launch a day, it got to that point. No, no, it got to five every okay, weekday. Okay, five. <laughs> Five to every weekday was really obsessive. And I was like screaming like, oh my God, how are we going to handle this? This is like crazy. Like even the manpower alone, how are we going to deal with all these SKUs and um, give all the SKUs enough love to actually make it to number one? So now we've like dialed it back, like way back. And we're we're focusing on our existing uh, catalog and resourcing products as needed from our existing catalog while giving each one of those items more love, which That's is right. very, very exciting. And um, I think that we'll see some good growth from that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Excellent. All right, guys. That was the first podcast of the year, starting off the year strong. Yes. So how many podcasts do you think we should do this coming year? There's 52 weeks in a year. We should do uh, maybe one a month. One a month, I think it's good. I think yeah. it's a good good rhythm. Yeah. So there you go. That's one of the goals we have for this year. Yeah. Twelve podcasts. I think we'll I think we'll overshoot it. I think we do more. If we did one weekly, that would be like a We'll amazing. have to see. If we end up having a baby this year, then that's not gonna necessarily happen exactly like that unless we shoot them beforehand point. and we shoot a bunch back to back and yeah. then we could do it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. But we would also love to know what you guys would like to hear about, like from us. We obviously work together, we live together. We eat we have together. together. We have kids. We're we're married for the last uh I think twelve years. We got married in twenty twelve, right? Yeah. So it'll be twelve years this year. Mm hmm February is when, when we got, when we got together. together. Yeah. Okay. So yes, let us know. It's true. And we also didn't spend a lot of time to get married. From February and we got married in July, no? Mm hmm That was quick. That was quick. Yeah, it was. That was fast. In or out, baby. That's right, in or out. That's what I kept saying. Are you in or are you out? Do you love me or not? Do you not love me? What's the definition of love? Look at love. How can you not love? How can you not say you love me? How can you not love this? <laughs> how, can you not love this? how can you not love this? But then when I showed you the definition, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I love you. That's true. That actually, that's a true story. Yeah. All right, and we love you guys. Yes. Thanks for listening. We do. And leave us a review. Leave us something. Uh, just keep listening guys thanks for listening if you if you made it to the end of the year it means you sat and listened to us for I don't know 30 minutes 40 minutes whatever it was uh, we appreciate that if you find this helpful to somebody share it with them leave us a great review um, and whatever you need like leave it in comments we actually are having responding now to comments so like put comments on YouTube you find us put comments and then we can see we'll do like a video review for you uh, sorry a video comment and um, hit us up peace